What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. We're going around a racetrack right now, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show y'all. So it's a stretch of road that you just kind of take off. Woo! You just kind of take off on. Um, and uh, I like going into the corners doing 70, 67, 70 in this mug. It's absolutely insane. Early in the morning, yeah. This mug hugs so hard. And you just go around the corners and you hit it. Yeah, I call this the racetrack, me and my friends. I try not to do it too often, but um, again, it's just dope. It's just dope, 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 dope. Porsche talk, ladies and gentlemen, we getting it in. I've never seen a car this big and heavy handle like this ever in my entire life. That's not even what we're talking about right now. Real talk. The thing that I'm talking about, and I'm always inspired about certain conversations that I see. Woo, see that fishtail? I'm always inspired by certain conversations that I see being had online on my own platforms and the interactions that I have in real life. And the one thing that I've always done is I've always studied people. Oh, man. And then you, you jump around on the racetrack. And then you eventually jump on the freeway and you just take off, yo. You just take off. And then you try to get it up to that 100 mile per hour mark. And then you just go, ladies and gentlemen just go but I've never seen I'm a studier I'm a studier I study people and I've never ever in my life ever or when I have seen this happen this thing in particular I've never in my life seen lions hang out with hyenas I've never seen them become friends I don't know maybe on a Disney movie or something like that uh, the Lion King the Lion King. I did not even know I was going to have this story. The Lion King, one of my favorite movies. The Lion King, The Prince of Egypt. I love those movies. But the moment that Scar, this is a, this is a shout out to my boy Rilla. The moment that Scar started hanging out with uh, the hyenas, I think Whoopi Goldberg was one of the voices of that movie. Everything went left. Everything went left. The entire civilization, the pride had fallen. I've never seen, and I watch a lot of animal videos. My YouTube algorithm is filled with animal videos. I've never seen lions hang with hyenas. I've never seen sharks hang out with dolphins. I've never seen rich people hang out with poor people and vice versa. Now, when you do see this happen, similar to the different NBA stories, like the, let's just say the Allen Iversons, the... Antoine Walkers, and not that Allen Iverson is broken. I don't even really care to count his money or nothing like that, but I'm using these people as an example in order to emphasize a point. I'm actually on my way to uh, go ahead and charge my car up. If you look right here, I'm only sitting at 42 miles to empty, but I plan on using a car extensively today, shooting content, uh, I said that I might divest myself against the Pistons games, so I might be down at the Pistons games at uh, at my house, LCA Arena, until they kick me out. Who knows what's going to happen with that? I don't know. I can't predict it. Whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, we getting it in all the way across the board, and I'm looking for the dingy. Listen, make sure y'all get that Teach Hanley pack. One of the reasons why I'm looking so dingy right now is because... I'm shooting a T.J. Hanley commercial today. We're going to drop that on Monday. It's dope. We're shooting Patreon exclusive content. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Shout out to Secret. That link is in the description. Get the, the, the vanilla or the chocolate pack. We're getting our lift on. We living right. We getting to the money. I don't like all of the white out here, though. I don't like all of the white out here, though. I like the car that I'm driving, but I'd rather have it down in Miami. But anyways, let's get to, get back to the point. What 
makes you think that you're going to be the exception? I'm just curious. Maybe you got some information that I don't. I'm always curious as to people think that they're going to be the exception when it comes to being able to manifest and become successful without changing their circumstances, their surroundings, the people that they rock with. The reason why certain groups of people migrate to being next to other certain groups of people is because it's conducive to that lifestyle. Even if you go all the way back to high school, right? The nerds naturally gravitated to and hung out with the nerds. The football team hung out with the football team. Jocks, the the cool kids, the fresh kids, the ones that wanted, wore the dope clothing and had great personalities. In most instances, overwhelmingly, they naturally attracted themselves to other people that rocked out like that. And nobody had to force them. High school is very much like a great way to study human beings because all we see today, even after you get out of high school, even when you become 30 and 40, I'll be 40 years old this year. All life is, is one big version of high school. People do the same thing. They just older, they got more resources or whatever. They do very similar things and they they operate the same when it comes to their behavior as they did in high school. Real talk. As a matter of fact, I always say that, man, this ain't nothing but a high school reincarnated. High school was good for me. It was awesome. Had a great time, got great results, met Rita there. High school was awesome for me. Life is awesome for me. But the way in which people operate, how they gossip, the things that they rock with, the content that they take in. All social media is just high school all over again, if you really want to know about it. But people just naturally gravitated to whomever it is that they truly rock with. Or not even who they rock with, because they wanted to be in a different space. They didn't know how to divest themselves and get into a different space. The results manifested itself into different things, depending on what type of group that you was in. But some things never changed. Just because you got money, it didn't mean you wasn't a simp. Just because you may have been successful in life, don't mean that you were able to be successfully married. It's a completely different conversation. Go ahead, Saturn View. My point is, is that in order to get completely different results, you're going to have to get uncomfortable and you're going to have to put yourself in different spaces. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot pretend your way to the top. Let me say that one more time. You cannot pretend your way to the top. Women instinctively can sniff out a weak man without even trying. They know that you are a cornball or a simp or a mark well before you even say 10 words and get it out your mouth. You cannot be around people with resources. I don't care how many pieces of jewelry that you put on. I don't care how many chains that you walk. I don't care about any of that. Instinctively, when you start having conversation and they say, oh, hey, what do you do for a living? And you say, whatever it is that you're about to say, they can smell it. We can smell people that don't know what they're talking about a mile away. If you've ever been in a, a, um, an interview, no matter what your profession is, if you've ever been in an interview, when I talk business, when I talk money, I don't need a manual. I don't pre-plan. I don't even, I don't do any of that. I just talk my talk. You can't teach what I know in a mother effing classroom. It's certain things you're going to have to go through. Just like when it comes to being a tech worker. You can't teach this in a classroom. It's certain things you're just going to have to go through. That's just the way it is. Real talk. I'm not even going to kid you, yo. And when you get into a... Um, <laughs> when you get into certain rooms, and let's just say, for example, you are a developer, a software engineer, and you start talking a lingo, 
right? Anybody that's been in the industry for an extended period of time or you worked on certain teams, you know what an agile process is. You know what waterfall is. You know what it means to use a Kanban board or a Jira. You know what it means in order to um, work with the development team and then have to deal with product owners in order to be able to bridge the gap because you were you you a user experience professional. When they start talking certain lingo and they're doing code reviews or we're doing recaps and all this stuff, you can't fake your way through that. People know. Even if you are faking it, you, and some people learn or some people are interns or they just getting into the business or whatever. But we know it. We know who's junior. We know who's senior. We know who's mid-level. We know, you know, what a VP looks like. You can't fake your way through it. And the only way for you to be able to do it is to immerse yourself in a completely different culture, which requires everything. It requires everything. There is no skirt in the process. Lions it do not hang with hyenas. Even, I think the most fascinating thing about animal videos, right? The most fascinating thing about animal videos is... If you start paying attention to them and you look at how different packs, elephants don't hang out with giraffes. I think that the most unique um, group of animal that I see in these African animal videos. Ooh, yo, are so dirty, little girl. So dirty. I side, we about to get you charged. We about to get you charged. I don't even know if that one works. I might be just be cut off. Let's see. It might just be the screen. Because the thing is on. I don't even want to waste my time. Let me see if these other screens are on. Yeah, the other screens are on. We're going to go ahead and use these. But I think that the most unique animal, group of animal... Um, like these African packs and things like that the most unique group of animal is wild dogs I think that wild dogs have y'all ever seen a, a wild pack of dogs they are fierce probably the most fierce group of hunters in all of Africa. Now, I don't know that to be for sure, but all I know is what I watch on these videos. A wild pack of African dogs, they will completely devour something. You know, lions, they hunt it, and you know, they take it back to the pride and all of that other type of stuff. A wild pack of dogs? Yo, they completely devour whatever it is that they, that they getting into immediately. Oh, snaps, you got the Rivian right next to me. I like it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, let's go, member. Morning. Is it prepping itself? Hey, how you doing? Is it prepping itself to start getting charged? Is that the, the noise that it's making? Which one? The Rivian, when I just oh, heard no, that noise. It's uh, air suspension. Oh, okay. I got you. Very, very interesting. But, um, you know what? I think I'm going to take a stroll through Walmart, through Valmet. Y'all know why I call it Valmet? While that's charging, I actually got to got to get some work done um, inside of the take can while that's charging. I'm going to get it washed today. The people that think that they're going to get rich by continuing to surround themselves with the worst versions of us, you're not. You might do okay. You might survive. Even your standards is not going to be the same. I'm just telling you the truth. The standards is not going to be the same. You're not going to be able to... change your mindset it's funny because like for example let's just say when i go to these pistons games 
I'll be there today. I'm going to be recording. I vlog every single time I go to the game. Let's say when I go to these Pistons games, right? You know what winds up happening? They got this thing called the, um, How you doing? The ice cam or something like that? Is that what it's called? The ice cam? And it'd be a bunch of dudes flashing their jewelry and stuff like that. I don't even wear jewelry. I don't wear anything um, except for dope watches because I understand that watches appreciate over time. Now, here's the thing. There is some dudes down there that wear a chain or two, or they let their kid wear their chain or whatever like that. They do wear dope stuff. Like, there's some rich people, they gon' they be having on the Travis Scotts. They be walking around a certain type of way and all of that. But to a larger extent, they don't have like oobs and gobs of jewelry on. They might have a nice watch on or whatever like that. And let's be clear, there are all types of rich people. So it's not to say the dudes that don't have oobs and gobs of jewelry on is not rich because a lot of them are. That's real talk. But there's different types of rich people. Do you see what I'm saying? And if you want to keep the company of a certain type of group of people, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just walking around. If you want to keep the company of a certain type of group of people, hey, it's an opportunity for me to explore. I'm not going to go that way. Let's walk around. If you want to keep a company of a certain type of group of people and think about it's much easier to be able to manifest or get a certain type of wealth, you got to think differently. You got to change your mindset towards money. You got to change your mindset towards the, the group of people that you keep. You're not going to sit there and become... Uber, uber, uber successful by hanging out with your toxic friends and the people that you still rocking with from high school that's in and out of jail. It's not going to happen, bro. This is fascinating. Maybe I'll play a little bit of basketball. How about that? You're not going to find yourself to then start making really, really great decisions and you still hanging out with a bunch of broke people all the time. It seems as though somebody has been, people have been shooting on this on a regular basis. Oh, I still got it. Anyways, I got work to do people. I'm gonna buy me a bike this year. That type of bike right over there but it's gonna be electric. And then I'm gonna get one for the whole family. Cause Rita's gonna want one unless it's gonna want one. I guarantee you. And then we're gonna go riding out to the sunset. It's gonna be awesome. But no, no, seriously y'all. If you want different results, you're gonna have to surround yourself with a different group of people. It's not gonna come just because you work hard and all of that. Your mentality and your mindset towards certain things, it can't be any different than what it is that you feel. Cause these like throwbacks, be supposed to be like the throwback microwaves it's not gonna be any different just because you feel it you're gonna have to be intentional all right i love you guys i appreciate you uh we're gonna see if i wind up getting through out of the game should be pretty funny should be pretty interesting i'm gonna holler at you later peace